Good morning, and this week's block news, an incredible new AI tool that creates code automatically, a look at WordPress 6.1 and all the new features, we answer the question, are WordPress killing themes, a look at the new distraction-free writing mode in Gutenberg, and Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg review. Let's get newsy. Time for block news. It's news about blocks. Imagine if you could type text into a computer and AI would automatically generate code for you. Well, now you can. Watch this. Add with JavaScript. JavaScript. Let's give it a go. Ooh. No way. That is crazy. If this works, uh, let's go with root on this one. Run everywhere. Save. And then I should be able to do this. All right, so let's wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, what? That is crazy. That is crazy. That is, oh my God. Unbelievable, dude. It absolutely is witchcraft, 100%. That was a live stream from Jonathan at Permaslug on YouTube. You should subscribe to his channel because it's fantastic. Link in the description below. And this is the product. It's called WP Codebox. Actually, it's called WP Cody from WP Codebox. It's in preview at the moment and it's in alpha stage. So you can't really play with it too much. But I'm going to try and get my hands on it in the future because it's profound. Are we going to need developers in the future for our little code snippets? Maybe not. WordPress 6.1 was released a couple of days ago and there's a whole raft of improvements. Here's a video that covers my top eight. This is something I actually produced a few months ago. So if you've already seen it, just scrub through two and a half minutes and I'll see you on the other side. On your screens, you can see an example of the fluid typography that's coming to Gutenberg where the screen resizes, the text automatically resizes to match. Theme authors can set a minimum and maximum size of text depending on the viewport. From my understanding and reading the GitHub tickets, it looks like Gutenberg is going to use the CSS clamp function to achieve this. In the previous version of Gutenberg, we got the ability to edit the single post template for specific categories. And coming next is the ability to edit the templates for category archive pages. This means that displaying custom post types just got a whole lot easier. New settings for interactivity states is being added to Gutenberg so that you will be able to set the colors for default, hovered, focused and active links. Creating and managing menus has been one of the major challenges with full site editing and a big improvement is going to be the abstraction between display and content with the navigation block. If you've ever used Wix, you may have seen something quite similar. Continuing with the Wix-like UI theme, a new zoomed out editing option is being considered. I really like this approach as it gives users a great way to see the whole page. This is part of the block pattern improvements, but I think will really help general editing. The list view is one of the most useful ways to navigate and edit content when creating more complex page layouts. And soon you'll have the ability to rename blocks, making navigating even easier. There's going to be an improved way to navigate and view your page templates with a visual mosaic view option introduced very soon. And block pattern previews are improving with a new large modal display. A brand new default theme was released this week with WordPress 6.1. It's called 2023 and it's an ideal starter theme. What's really cool about it as well is it comes now with style theme variations. These are a bit like mini themes. To access these, go to your dashboard by clicking here, then go to the site editor, so editor here, then come up here and click on this little icon here for styles. These are global styles, and then come down here and click on browse styles just here. 
that'll give you access to all the theme variations, style variations that you get. So click on these and you'll see a little preview window appearing. And then if you like any of these, just click save at the top. But what's really exciting about these is these are all built using basically one file called theme.json, which I'm gonna cover in a future tutorial. So subscribe if you wanna see that tutorial. Essentially they're just text files though. And you can see an example over here on the right. These are all the style variations, theme style variations that come with 2023. What's great about theme.json not only does it affect the style of your website, but it also affects the editor abilities as well. So you can configure and cur curate what people can do. So you can set the palette, so you can set what controls they can see in Gutenberg. One of the implications for these mini themes or style theme variations is you might be sitting there thinking, well, why do we need thousands of themes if we can have one starter theme and create thousands of mini themes? And I think that's a really, really interesting question, which I'm going to be covering in a future tutorial as well. If you are a writer, then you're gonna like what's in Gutenberg 14.4. There's a new distraction-free writing mode which will clear everything from your page and just leave you with the important stuff, your words. To access it, click on the three dots in the top right of your screen up here and then just select distraction-free and then everything goes and you're just left with a nice blank white page, which can be terrifying as well. To get it back to the um, dashboard, just click on the hover over the right and then click on the three dots and just select distraction free and everything else will come back for you. Every week through the magic of AI, we get Alan Rickman to read the latest Gutenberg review. Here's this week's. The title says it all. The learning curve is huge. Everything about old wardress is thrown out the window, which why so many find it difficult, although the updates are a bit difficult. The evolution is for obvious reasons. Thank you, Alan. Beautifully read. So that's a five-star review, but the actual comments weren't that positive, so it's slightly ambiguous. There we go. That's this week's block news. If you want to see more block news, subscribe below. And if you like this video, if you can hit the like button, that'd be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>